Hey y'all, we're going on a field trip today. I thought I'd take you along. I got a notification that the Lodge Cast Iron Store, which is here in Tennessee, they make the Lodge Cast Iron here. Uh, they're down in Sevierville and they're doing 50% off right now. So I thought I'd take you on a little field trip with, with you. Good up. A little field trip with me and show you some of the mountains and some of the beauty as we go along and what they've got down at the store. So let's go.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Greg's Kitchen and our Cumberlatcha Farmstead. Today I'm I'm going to show you all the lodge cast iron that we got the other day when we went down to Sevierville. Um, we're basically at the top part of our land right here. This is our lane that goes along the back south part of the property and then down to the main road. It's all nice grass, dirt through here, and then it's gravel and dirt going down. But that, I'm just trying to give you a little understanding where we're at. If you go up here to the right and around, the path goes all the way down there to the creek. The creek's over there. So let's get into what all I bought. So all of this together was just about $220, $225. I mean, it was amazing. And it's second, second choice, I guess, because there's like a little pin pin dot right there and that's that's all it was this was fifteen dollars i saw it for 45 dollars the other day i think at walmart and so that was 15 i did get the lit matching lid which is 15 dollars also all these orange stickers just means that i'm going to take those off just means that it was a uh, in the second second choice i think is what they call it so there's my 12 inch skillet with lid i got a griddle that i can put over top of the campfire that i got going over here because I'm going to be cooking you guys lunch here. Later today, it's going to be an uh, entire chicken. And I'm going to do it over the campfire. But that's going to be a separate video. I just need to get the fire going to get some coals going. So that I can use on the campfire. I did get this. This is actually goes on top of a 7-quart uh, Dutch oven. Makes it a, She called it a double Dutch oven. But you can also use it, flip it over, and just use it for a skillet. So I thought that was really nice. Got bugs on me up here. So that goes on top of my Dutch oven that I did not bring. And I got, I think that one was $11. This is another, have you guys seen me use this for my biscuits? I just got another one, it was $12. I couldn't even find the imperfection on this one. Actually, maybe it's these little dots on the bottom. It's crazy. I mean, that's not gonna affect your cooking whatsoever. So that's another one I got. Let me throw this paper in here. I don't wanna get it, leave it out in the dirt. Okay, so here is my big Dutch oven that I'm going to use to cook my turkey on. And I'm going to just open it. This is <laughs> not turkey. It's going to be a chicken. I don't know why I'm thinking turkey. Turkey might fit in a small one. All right. Put my knife back in there so I don't cut myself. So... Take that box down. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. That is one massive Dutch oven. Comes with a camp cooking book, cookbook. Has some nice little recipes in there. Cast iron cooking 101. So this is, what is this? I don't think this is a seven. No, this is the eight quart. It's 12 inch, eight quart and it does have the lid on it and these you want it's got the legs on the bottom and anyone that hasn't cooked on campfire outside you do want the legs because you're going to put some coals around the bottom set this on top then put the lid on top and you're going to put more coals on top of this this is what you do um, for if you want to like literally bake a chicken so i call it call it a dutch oven because it's an oven you're baking in there you can do biscuits in here anything and then this does have the wire that hangs and I do have the wire hanger for over there on the tripod I got that at the cast iron store too now of course when this is hot and you've been cooking with it you're not just gonna pick it up so I grabbed a lifter and you just stick it in your pan like that and you can lift up the lid and it makes nice and easy so that's I think that lifter was only $14 I'm going to throw that in there. So that is my favorite. I love this thing. I got another one that's like this big that mom has. She better bring it to me. I don't think she's using it. So now for the campfire, I've also got this that I can put over top of the hot coals. guess I should have left my knife out. And I do have to put this together. But basically, it's just like a little tripod four legs and once you get that together your skillets your uh, flat skillet or even your 
griddle, which I did get a grill, griddle over here. That'll sit right on top of it. Has the other flip over the air side so you can get char marks, the lines. So that I will put together and you'll be seeing me using this. I forget how much this was. I think it was like $14. Yeah, $14. So we have that. And last but not least, it's all these bugs getting on me. I did get this. This, I think it was $149 regular price. It was 50% off all their enamel was. It's never been opened. So let's just open this pretty little thing up. And I love these enameled ones. You just got to be careful not to use a scratch pad, anything on them. And I don't even put mine in the dishwasher. So there's the lid. And not only does it cover the lid for the pot, you can also use it on the stovetop. It has the griddle on here. I'm going to turn it that way so I don't scratch up the paint. Put this box back here. And we'll undo the actual Dutch oven. So I think this Dutch oven was half price. So I think it was $89.99, something $89 or $99, but I got it for $45, half price. I don't see any imperfections on it. And this is, uh, what size did I say this was? 10, 7 quart? Do -do. 7 quart, yeah. So 7 quart Dutch oven. Now, I wouldn't use this on my campfire. This is only going to be used on the stove in the house. Or I can use it out here on my induction burner that I use in the camper. I've got a couple of those. So, there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the tripod, 11 pieces for t under $125. So, I thought that was a great deal. If you guys are ever down in Sevierville, believe me, I'm not. Um, sponsored by Lodge, but hey Lodge, if you're listening, you can sponsor me. I'm in the area. I'll be using this all the time. So it is a local company. I think it's in Pittsburgh, Tennessee is their main factory. And that's just over the border from Georgia down by Chattanooga. But this and these I got at the Sevierville store. They also have a Gatlinburg store. No, a Pigeon Forge store. So if you're ever in Tennessee, you need to stop one of those three because, I mean, this is some great prices on all this cast iron. So in my next video, I'll be coming to you. I'm going to be using this. We're going to be doing an entire chicken with some potatoes, other root vegetables over top of the uh, fire there. I'm also going to do a breakfast for you um, out here. I'll probably use this. And I'll use this to make the uh, casserole and maybe maybe I'll use this to make the biscuits Like I, since I told you how you can do it, make some buttermilk biscuits in here. So thanks again for joining me in Greg's Kitchen from my Cumberlatch of Farmstead. We, we just love it up here. You guys are going to get to see more and more and more of it. As you can see, we've been clearing all over the place, but we don't know where the cabin's going to go yet. We probably only cleared a half an acre here, not even, maybe not even that much. We still have probably about 55% that direction on the other side of the path that goes down the creek. We haven't even touched. We haven't even seen. But this goes over towards the driveway. So we're going to be clearing this out, get closer to the driveway, and cabin's going to go back in here somewhere. So, again, thank you very much. I appreciate you, and God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.